Alrighty guys, it's the long-awaited and anticipated final video of this 500 plus card PSA return order. Uh, hopefully you got a chance to watch the other videos. I have episode numbers 1 through whatever this one is in the title, so it shouldn't be hard to figure out. Um, there shouldn't be many videos in between. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little series of this order. I have another 542 card order coming back in about 10 days. And uh, then we'll get going and doing another one. Lots of fun stuff there. Modern stuff. Football, basketball, baseball. I think there's a bunch of young gun hockey in there. Might be some Pokemon. I don't know. A whole bunch of stuff. Though. Lots of uh, Patrick Mahomes rookies. I think there's some more Lucas in there. There's going to be lots of Jeters, Bradys, and LeBrons. You know how it goes. Anyways, let's get this video going. 83 Donruss. We're picking up where we left off in the last one. Mike Schmidt in a 9. Another Mike Schmidt. Hey, we got a Jim Mint 10. That's pretty darn good. Jim Mint 10 on the 83 Donruss. Beautiful. Next up. Oh, I think I broke two sets for these ones. Another 10 and a 9. Henderson. And a 10 and a 9. Very nice. I'll take them. And another pair. Don, uh, Dale Murphy. A couple nines for you there. Very nice. Love Dale Murphy. Couple Reggie Diamond Kings. Well, I got a 10 and we got an 8. There you go. Next up, those are 83 Donners, by the way. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like we don't have any more <laughs> doubles. Apparently, the next ones, I only found one that was centered well enough. So there's a Henderson coming back in 8, so that's freaking horrible. No, I'm just kidding. It is what it is. Beautiful card. Uh, Dennis Eckersley in a 10. Ken Griffey Sr. in a 9. Eighty-three downers, Paul Molitor, and a nine. Love the old Molitors and Younts and Bretts. Gary Carter and a ten. I think I got a ten on this card in the other video. You have to check that video out and let me know. Next one, really nice card. Yes, three thousandth game, May twenty-fifth, nineteen eighty-one, and a Jim Mint ten. Golly, that's a lot of friggin' games. Played in three thousand games. Wow. Appeared in 3,000 games. Wow. More than that, actually, because he went on to play um, through 83. <laughs> or into 83. 82 All-Stars, Parker and uh, the Cobra, who could very well have been a Hall of Famer, and a 9. Oh, here's another Henderson. That one come back a 9. That's a little bit better, huh? Okay, now we're back to the 2 again here. We've got Dale Murphy, Diamond Kings, 9 and a 9. Be so nice with an autograph on that sucker right about here. A couple nines there, not too shabby. Ooh, and a couple yeses. We got a 10 and a 10. Nice, couple tens. Love yes. What a great freaking Red Sox he was all those years. Next, one of my favorite players back in the day. Keith Hernandez and a nine. Of course, I like him better with the Mets uniform. Ken Herbeck in a 10. Not too bad. I know a guy who likes Kent Herbeck. He might like that card. He's a huge Twins fan. His name is Kurt Christensen. All right, 86 tops. We're going to hit some 86 tops here now, guys. I mean, I, I went through a set of these right here, and I was begging, begging, begging for some 10s because they go for stupid money. Pete Rose got a 9. Let's see what we got. Dale Murphy got a 9. Bruce Suter, I got a nine with a print dot. <laughs> Where is the print dots? Oh, there's a bunch of them right here, little yellow, pink print dots. Oh, well. Suter and a nine with the PD. <laughs> uh, there's that 76 I accidentally showed you in the last video, or two videos ago. Uh, Keith Hernandez in a seven, second year card. And that's his first year without anybody else sharing the card. 76 rookie outfielders. I just got it graded because I thought it might get a 9. Ended up getting an 8. Chet Lemon being your uh, probably your most notable. Of course, uh, Alice Fontaine was around for a bit too. Terry Whitfield. I don't think I've ever heard of Henry Cruz. 78 George Brett. I was hoping for a 9. We got us an 8. 
And I'm pretty sure they're not just giving out nines on those things. So what are you going to do? 84 Nolan Ryan and an 8. Not too bad. 84 a rookie and a 9. 84 Cal Ripken Jr. All Star and a 9. And 84 Cal Ripken and a 10. Yes, son. Second year Ripken. Nice card and a 10. Bruce Sutter is 82 down rest and a 10. Very nice. Robin out and a 9. So, obviously, good grades here, guys, right? Pretty darn good. Eddie Murray and a 9. Gaylord Perry and a 10. Very nice. And it looks like I may have missed some vintage. Holy smokes. Well, let's take a look here. I got some 60s back here, guys. 61 Joe Cope and a 7. 60 Ron Blackburn and a 7. Nice card. A big old chaw in his mouth, looks like. 60 Don Elston and a 6.5. Oh, an old Yankee Elmer Vallo and a 6. Uh, Joe Shipley, 60 tops and, a, and an 8. Very nice. Nice 8 right there on the Joe Shipley. And don't worry, there's some more 80 stuff uh, at the end here. Another 8, Hal Griggs and an 8. Very nice. Man, another one too. Eddie Yost and an 8. Very, very nice. Been around a while, Eddie Yost. Uh, at that point, I mean. Gene Green and a 7. Gene Green. Man. I wonder if he got teased a little bit growing up. Julio Bacquer. I have no idea how to say that. Bacquer? Bacquer? I don't know. I got a seven, though. Nice looking card. And third generation. Uh, three generations of Boons, I should say. First one, though. Ray Boone. And a two. We missed something big time here. I mean, huge for this thing to be a two. It's got to be something gnarly. What did I miss? Well, there's a super light crease right there. It's more like a surface wrinkle. All right. Uh, maybe there's a few of them here. Huh. There's a few creases right here. I'm not sure how that happened. You can see them there kind of in the light a little bit. Not sure how that happened. But apparently I missed it. So we got a two on the boon. Ooh, here's a... Old star and stud, Rocky Calavito and a seven. Not too bad. Bob Serve and a six. Good old ball player there. And back to the 80s. 82, Don Russ, Willie Stargell and a nine. 86 is again, guys. Here you go. Dale Murphy and a nine. That's the all star. Honestly, I went through a lot of those 86 tops, and I really struggled with all of the black border ones. Uh, between centering and chipping, it was very hard to find anything that would even grade um, decent. I got lucky with these three nines. Um, most of the ones that got graded were 86, uh, were the all-stars. Doc Gooden got an 8. I was really hoping for a 9, so I wanted to just put that one in the PC. What are you going to do? Yeah, Mattingly here, he got a 9. So that's pretty cool. Johnny Baseball in his prime. Kyle Ripken Jr. got a 9. That's pretty good. Ricky Henderson got a 9. Nice card. I really like these all-star cards. I always did. Hey, we got a gem. Gem. We popped a gem. Uh, I'm not sure what the pop report is on this, but Dave Winfield in a 10. Very nice. Might be a handful. I don't know. Carlton Fisk in a 9. Now, on the front of every one of those little 50-card bricks that you get when you buy it, when you had opened up an 87 Donruss set, you would have a picture of the card that was the puzzle, that the puzzle pieces would make up. So, um, so again, on every one of those little bricks, you'd have a card. So, I uh, on the 83 set, it was Ty Cobb. So, I went through all those Ty Cobb cards. And remember, it was top card, and then they're cellophane. So, very tough to probably get a 10. Uh, I went through all of them, and... and 
I think I only found one card that looked like it might get a 10, and this is it, but I got a 9, unfortunately. <laughs> that was just kind of for fun. <laughs> I did it for fun, kind of, sort of. Let me pause that and read about Ty. Alrighty, I think I only did one of those, maybe. Yeah, I think I only did one. They are all off-centered or something, or had, like, bent corners. <clears throat> That's a nice 10. 83 Donruss MVPs. Rest in peace, rest in peace. I think he's still kicking. Joe Morgan, Frank Robinson, Vita Blue. Got a 10 on it, though. 83 Donruss, Pete Rose, and a 10. Nice. 83 Donruss, Nolan Ryan, and a 9. Lots of 9s on Nolan Ryan's this time. Still a nice card. Carlton Fisk and a 9. Oh, Ryan Sandberg rookie. And a 9. Nice Hall of Fame rookie there. And the Goose. Goose Gossage and a 10. Nice. All right, Jim Palmer and a 10. So that's pretty darn cool. By the way, for you TTM guys, he charges $10 to the mail for an autograph. Harold Baines and a 10. Young Harold Baines. I never realized how small he was. He's only, well, it says he's 6'2", but he looks a lot smaller than that now. Maybe he shrunk of his age. Keith Hernandez and a 9. And guys, we've got two cards left. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, please check out my other videos. And leave a comment if you don't mind. Let me know what your favorite card was in this video. Or favorite few cards. Fernando Valenzuela and a 9. Nice card. And then this last one was just kind of a fun one for me to do again. Hoping for a 10. And it is the man responsible for all those Diamond King cards through the years. And his name is Dick Perez. And they made a card of him in 1983. Drawing the 83 Donruss Carl Yastrzemski Diamond King card. So that's the card that he painted. Not drawn. Painted. That he painted to make. Um, and then they would, you know, basically shrink it down to size and put it on a card. But that's what he did. That's Dick Perez. Awesome artist. Love all of his uh, sports art so much. You guys have a good rest of the day, okay? We got a 9 on this card. It says no word. Checklist on the back. There's a checklist of the cards he did for this series. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Later.